Zabbix community is extremely important for us. You help us build the product. 6.0, all of the features that we've talked about so far, in part, they were based on your feedback and your votes. So let's talk about all of the community tools that you can use to participate, learn, and take part in the development of Zabbix. Let's welcome Head of Support from Zabbix, Dmitry Lambert. Hey guys, so let's make a quick overview of the Zabbix community tools. Uh, basically the topic we already talked about a couple of years ago, but here we are again. So first of all, Zabbix community, and let's try to understand what it actually means to be inside a community. Well, it's pretty easy, right? Having a sense of community unites us and, which is most important, we should have some common goals and uh, our activities and the stuff that we are doing should help us to get closer to these goals. So, what are they? And pretty easy, right? Make a Zabbix number one choice, top choice for the monitoring solution. So, what we want that if somebody, some company or some person decides that he wants to monitor their environment, we want them to think about a Zabbix as a option number one. And the other very important topic is deliver the free and open source product. So we, again, don't have any ideas to make this topic paid, uh, to bring in some uh, paid additions or plugins, functionality, whatever. Everything is free up to this day and it will remain free for the future, right? So no paid functionality once again. Make Zabbix accessible to everyone. It doesn't matter where you are, is it uh, Latvia, Europe, Russia, United States, uh, China, Japan, doesn't matter. We want you to be able to use Zabbix, uh, use the all functionality that we have and uh, be happy with this product. Support our community and help them grow. Again, the community is very important point uh, in Zabbix as a product and also in the company. So our goal is to make your life as a community easier and provide some instruments for you that you can use to share your feedback Back or let's say help uh, each other out with some problems and what those problems might be. Any questions, any technical questions or uh, some feedback about some functionality, templates, uh, whatever you could be doing with a Zabbix and how you can help Zabbix and also the community. So the biggest task for you is to share your experience and help others if they have some sort of the questions. If you see somebody in need, somebody who just started to use Zabbix and they're struggling with some sort of functionality, you can always help them share your feedback, give some lesson on how to best, uh, how to use some functionality with the best practices from the Zabbix and so on. So basically be a part of a Zabbix community and take part in most of the communication channels that we have up to today. And communication is a key, right? So there are quite a lot of communication channels and you are not limited to one or other language. So there are English, uh, Spanish, Russian, uh, Chinese and other languages where you can talk about a Zabbix, ask your questions and share some sort of the feedback. So if you are not in any of these channels, uh, Currently, just open zabbix.com slash community and you'll find all uh, known to us uh, chats and channels where you can participate. But it's definitely not it. Not it. So there are much more uh, channels that we don't know yet. Zabbix got you covered. So create and maintain platforms for our community uh, in terms of like blogs, uh, YouTube, um, webinars, some recordings, some textual information about our functionality, about our templates, uh, some use cases and how the community or our users use Zabbix, let's say in some not uh, the most common ways. Uh, listen and react. So Company Zabbix in this case must and we are doing our best to listen to our community, listen to the feedback and wishes for some upcoming releases. Uh, we're trying to include everything uh, that you guys are interested in our roadmap for uh, the next releases and very important is to always think from the user perspective. We are developing the product and we have one view but we're always trying to think from your perspective, from users, what functionality and how this functionality should look like to make you guys happy and satisfied with this product. And talking about these channels, uh, community channels and platforms that we're delivering and maintain, one of the first is definitely Zabbix YouTube. So 
There is official Zabbix YouTube channel and you can follow this QR code. You will get redirected straight to the YouTube so you can subscribe and uh, always be informed about all the latest uh, speeches, videos, uh, technical guides, information and all sort of that. So if you have not time to participate in a meetup or let's say in this uh, Zabbix summit, uh, you can be sure that all of the recorded, all of the speeches will be recorded and published in again our official um, YouTube channel. Same applies for the Zabbix series, same applies for the handy tips which is uh, a new thing this year. Um, again platform YouTube, the main purpose of the of the handy tips is to cover essential topics and it must be short and a strict content so we will not take a lot of your time we do understand that you might be busy with your daily tasks and you don't have 20 30 40 minutes to watch some sort of Zabbix instruction in the YouTube we try to keep this like one minute maybe two minute long explaining the best practices on some of the existing functionality in the Zabbix so if you want to know these uh, handy tips then just again follow the QR code subscribe to the YouTube channel and you will be notified another one is Dmitri so myself in a YouTube um, very important that this is not official Zabbix YouTube channel but at the same time you can find 85 plus videos about Zabbix, all the different topics. Um, the biggest downside is that the shuttle is not regular, so you might see some activity with multiple videos in uh, one or two weeks and then silence for multiple months. That is what you get. Uh, beginner friendly, so we also start with some basics as uh, how to install Zabbix, how to configure your first hosts, items, triggers and stuff like that. And we end with some more complicated uh, stuff like high availability, some API, how to apply some sort of uh, templates and stuff like that. So if you're interested in these videos, then just again follow the QR code and you will be uh, forwarded to my channel. Next, the Zabbix blog, right? Uh, the same place where you can find, first of all, um, text versions of most of our videos. So if you are not a video guy and you prefer some reading where you can carefully go from line to the line and uh, do all the copy pasting for all the commands, then the blog might be for you. Uh, you can also find some post articles where the Zabbix seniors uh, who are working with the Zabbix for 10 plus years will share their experience on how they are using Zabbix, why they are using, what is the best practice on one or other functionality. Interesting use cases covered in detail. So Zabbix is a huge monitoring solution with very wide list of functionality and it is much more than just a simple monitoring of a network devices or monitoring of uh, Windows or Linux servers. So we can also talk about IoT, we can talk about some uncommon monitoring cases and in the blog you can find a detailed description about all of those. Tutorials from the Zabbix engineers. So at the time when let's say we're not uh, that busy with our day-to-day -day tasks uh, working with our clients, I, our engineers are not uh, taking a rest at all. So that time is being utilized to help you guys, to help our community and share some sort of uh, technical tutorials. Again, the ones that we mentioned previously, like how to properly use one or other functionality. Because initial configuration, it might not be that complicated, right? You could achieve the result that you are looking for, but for a long term, it is very important to follow all the best practices and do everything properly. So these tutorials from our engineers could definitely help you. What is important about a Zabbix blog? The important fact is that you can write them too, right? It's not only about a Zabbix engineers. If you have some interesting story to, sh to share or some interesting use case for the Zabbix, we are always listening. So. Even if you are not an expert in visuals or let's say creating and forming um, the proper blog posts, we can always help you, right? We can help you with the screenshots, with the visuals, with the formatting, uh, with the language. Just share your idea and uh, your story and together we can come up with some very interesting blog posts. So how to do that? Uh, just reach out to us in uh, 
any communication channel again that you saw previously. In most of those chats you can find uh, Zabbix engineers, uh, people from marketing, uh, developers, anyone. So it's not that uh, hard to find somebody from the Zabbix and then just share your idea. What do you want to do with us? Like, do you want to create a post? Let's, let's do it, right? Next one, Zabbix meetups. You must, must have known already about uh, these events uh, that are happening probably once or sometimes even two in a month. And uh, what's, what's the purpose? Uh, purpose is to make all events uh, global, available for free to anyone at any time, right? Uh, Currently, it's not that easy to organize some uh, events in live at some, on some premises. So we're making those online and uh, you can catch up your meetup designated for your topic that you are interested about. May it be the security or some usage of the Zabbix in the clouds or with the Docker containers. Uh, you can also pick up your language. Again, it's not limited to the English only. And uh, yeah, like if you want to take part in the meetup, again, you have your own story that you want to share with us. Just reach out to us and uh, I'm sure we can work something out. Then public Jira projects. This is absolutely not uh, anything new. Uh, for those who are around for a while, I'm sure you've been working and uh, checking and maybe even submitting some uh, tickets in our public Jira projects, but it is very important to keep those in mind. So the first one, Zabbix bug reports. If you move to the support.zabbix.com, you'll find two projects. First is for the bug reports and then for the feature requests. If you found a bug, you are using the Zabbix, let's say you installed the alpha version, instead of like uh, just, hey, uh, yeah, that's bad, there is a bug, you should definitely report it. Uh, because if we will know that there is some sort of the issue, something that should behave a little bit differently than it is right now, we will be able to fix it. So report it, but you must follow a couple of things uh, when you are doing that. So English only. We are a multi-language company and all things like that. You can participate in all different events in the multiple languages, but when we're talking about bug reports and the public Jira projects, English only. Better check if it's not reported already. So these Jira projects are pretty big. There are quite a lot of issues, quite a lot of new issues reported time by time, and it, there is a high chance that somebody already reported the issue that you wanted. Uh, report to us. So better use a search to try to find maybe it's already there with some sort of resolution from our developers. Provide all details that you have. This is also very important for us to help you as fast as possible and understand is there really a issue or maybe it's just some sort of misconfiguration. So give a proper steps from A, B, C, D, like install this, you create this item, uh, send this data, then you get this result, which should be different. Write all that information in the ticket and keep a track of issue because, well, it's not just like uh, very likely, it's 100% that somebody from the Zabbix will reach out with some additional questions. Uh, perhaps you could provide some log file or additional information how you got this result or some info about your existing setup. Is it uh, CentOS or Red Hat or something else? So keep a track of the issue and uh, pay attention. Maybe there are some questions to you. Next one is the Zabbix feature requests. Well, next one and the last one, right? So if you want a new feature inside a Zabbix, and at this point it doesn't really matter what it is, from your perspective, you should not think about like a whole Zabbix community. If you need, need this feature, that's good enough. So you report a feature request and it's our task and task for the community to decide how popular this feature will be, uh, checking all the votes on the ticket itself. So provide a use case. Instead of just saying, I need, uh, let's say this trigger function or some functionality to automatically deploy um, agents inside a Zabbix and existing active agent registration or network discovery is not enough. Instead of just writing, I need this, also try to explain why exactly, why existing functionality does not cover your needs and how the new functionality will help you solve your problem. Check for duplicates, same as for the bug reports. Perhaps somebody already uh, reported similar feature requests and there might be some update from the Zabbix team. And 
keep a track of the issue, of course, because you may see that, let's say for a first week, two, three, even a month, there is no activity, but then we release a new version of the Zabbix. Let's say it will be 6.0 right now, and uh, the roadmap for the 6.2 is being populated, and there is a chance that exactly your feature will get inside a roadmap, and then we might ask you for some additional comments and feedback uh, about this feature. And vote for it. So this is one of the one of the main uh, things we're looking on, like how popular this feature is, if there are a lot of community users voting for it and wanting, willing to see this in uh, our Zabbix release, then yeah, so that will be a good thing. Closely to the end, so community matters and uh, community matters all the time. Uh, it was in the past, it is now and it will be in the future. It doesn't matter if we are delivering some sort of the summit on premises in Riga, just like we did before two years, two years ago. Right now everything is virtual, but we still we must uh, keep together, right? We must work together to make a Zabbix a uh, better product, better monitoring tool, to make it a uh, top one choice for all the guys, uh, even for those who, let's say, don't have any experience with this product. So if you do, it's your sort of task, if you want to help us uh, achieve those goals, to share your experience and help others understand why the Zabbix is the best choice. And not only because it's free, but also because the wide list of functionalities and all the different things that you can achieve with this product. So thank you guys once again for taking, uh, taking part in development of the product, for being a part of the community and helping each other by answering some simple questions starting like how can I install a Zabbix on my CentOS 5 uh, Linux machine and ending with sharing your um, complicated stories and your experience. So thank you guys, thank you for watching and we'll see you later. Thank you Dmitry for giving us insight into Zabbix community tools and resources but we do have a couple of questions. So first off, what if someone develops a bug fix or some additional code that they wish to maybe submit or share? Is there a place where they can do so? Well, it's uh, pretty simple actually. If you're following uh, supportzabbix.com and you're following the bug report itself, so either you can post your patch or just uh, some comments about this uh, bug fix or whatever in uh, the ticket itself, or you can always open the GitHub of the Zabbix and create a pull request and our developers will check your fix and find out if it's suitable for this problem and then apply it if it's good. So yeah, somewhat of a standard practice, I guess, to those who are yeah, used to sure. working with yeah, open source solutions. Um, next up, so what if a user or a group of users wishes for us to cover a particular topic in our blog posts or videos or in some other way? Where can they submit their suggestion for this topic? Again, it's very simple, as I mentioned in the presentation. So our ears are open, right? We're listening in all the places. Uh, doesn't matter. It may be Facebook, uh, YouTube, uh, forum, or whatever, whatever else. So as long as you can find somebody from the Zabbix, you can just uh, write your feedback or request what topic you would like to cover. And we will, again, try to do our best to help you out. And I think you can find someone from Zabbix pretty much everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. Every community resource, yeah, either some of the support team or developers, or maybe even Lexi exactly. himself hangs out on multiple resources, yeah. Um, 